good kitten internet. This is very shortly after the previous video, which the previous video is 30 gig in size. Wow. So, um, we just found out that Slicker Silver Tongue is a traitor. I know. Shocked everyone with that name. But we have finished all of the council quests. At this point in the game, if this was a normal game, we would have just bro broke the halfway point. In reality, we're probably about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way through the game because of the order that I'm doing things in. So, that's a good thing. Um, I'm recording this before my Q&A video, but I'm intentionally making sure that this goes up after my Q&A video because it's a really good point to stop at for, hey, look, let's have a summary as to what's going on. So, uh, let us continue. Oop, I still have audio onto my speakers. My apologies. So I hear it, and you kind of hear it, but not really. There we go. Now you should be hearing it. And so can I now. <clears throat> Sweet. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's remind ourselves about what quests that we have at this point. This is the entire page of quests, by the way. We have four quests remaining, one of which we are going about to do, which is bringing the letter detailing Silver Silvertongue's treason to the High Council in Freehaven. We still have the Altar of the Moon at the Temple of the Moon at midnight of a full moon, and we are still not at a full moon, unfortunately. Um, oops. Uh, we have Find and Destroy the Book of Liches in Castle Darkmoor, which we're not going to do right now because we're going to gain a quest that puts us in Castle Darkmoor anyway. And then placing statuettes all around. So, let's Town Portal to Freehaven. This is where the Council of Windroth is. And that's where we're going right now. Are you ready for some FMV goodness? That is literally the only words in Might Magic 6 until you get to the ending. Um, that was Slicker Silvertongue, and he has vacated. We have all thumbs up, which means we now have entrance to the Oracle. If you did the Slicker Silvertongue quest before um, gaining access to the, uh, before getting everybody else's thumbs up, you wouldn't see this. That's all. And now we are entering the Oracle of Enroth. That's strange. Did that just say power on? Oh, um, yep, we have a very high reputation at this point. It's only going to go up from here. I think that's the single highest reputation increase in the game. This is a very strange place. So, here's another panel. It says stand by and opens up these stairs underneath this pool of water. Walk up. And, my god, it's full of stars. So, this is the oracle. It's a statue on the wall. Memory Crystal Alpha is located in Hermit's Isle. Memory Crystal Beta is located in Alamos. Memory Crystal Delta is located in Darkmoor. And Memory Crystal Epsilon is located in Kriegspire. These are the four locations that we need to go to to get the Memory Crystals. Place the memory crystals into the modules above. All four memory crystals are necessary to activate the oracle. Doesn't this sound kind of like something else? So this is the point where I start explaining a little bit. This game isn't fantasy. The Might Magic series, with a couple of exceptions, are not fantasy games. They're science fantasy games. And now is when you start seeing signs of the science fantasy. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um... I'm going to hit Castle Iron Fist really fast because there is something that actually triggers here. Service to the crown. I cannot thank you enough for uncovering that horrible traitor and his crimes against the throne. I understand that you're on a mission of some importance. So for services rendered to the crown, it behooves me to offer you free use of the royal yacht for your travels. It will take you as far as Hermit's Isle if you need to. Once again, thank you. So now, the second ship over here, which up until now has done nothing, it's just been sitting in the harbor for no reason, 
will take you to Hermit's Isle. It's the ship, I want to say? Oops. No, it's the Queen Catherine. That's right. So the Queen Catherine will take you to Hermit's Isle for free, but it takes 21 days to get there. Also, speaking of 21 days, um, I can train up a bit more, but I'm not going to do that yet. So, we have four new quests. Memory Crystal Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Epsilon. Um, of these four, the easiest one depends on how bad you like running. Um, so Alpha's in the Supreme Temple of Ba. Supreme Temple of Ba is located in Hermit's Isle, which is one of the two zones we have yet to visit. Uh, Memory Crystal Veda is in Castle Alamos, which in theory is actually the shortest or the second shortest one for you to get to, or to complete. The shortest one is actually Alpha. Um, Crystal Delta and Darkmoor, if... The reason why I'm phrasing it as shortest is that's if you want to just run through, grab the crystal, and leave. Uh, so speedrun strats. I think there's a tie between Alpha and Epsilon as to which one of those two is faster, because you can actually trigger a trap that teleports you right next to the crystal in Kriegspire. Um, we will probably be going to Kriegspire first. I think that's the one that makes the most sense. Everybody hates Castle Darkmoor, and Castle Darkmoor is going to take more time than I have available for the rest of the night, because it's one of the longer dungeons of the game. Alamos I might be able to do. Alamos is scary. I don't know if I want to do it right now. So, my objective right now is to basically... Um, Spend time doing one of the uh, crystal quests until. Let's see, until the 6th. So at the 6th, um, I will go train. Training takes a week, which will put me at the full moon on the night of the 14th, so I can actually go and do that quest finally. So I do have a method to my madness. It's just a really roundabout method to my madness. So, I believe I said Creekspire. Time to head back to our favorite zone. Um, before I go do that, and this episode may end up... Actually, I'm not going to go after any of the cra crystals to this episode, because they're going to take me a while. I just finished a really long episode. What are you doing, Boo? Boo? She is eating cardboard. Hold on. Boo. No. No numbing cardboard. What is it with my cats and eating weird things? I have literally had Isun's stomach have to be purged because his intestines were completely full of cardboard before. Okay. So, we're going to go to the northern side of this place. It's a very pretty area to me. My brain fills the landscape with my imagination, basically. So, even though this looks very barren with a couple of trees and nothing else, my brain views this as a snowy land of demons and devils. We're going to be doing some of the optional dungeons up here. See, it's actually a fairly large area up here. With a whole lot of nothing here, for the most part. Until we get over to here. I'm not quite close enough yet. Now I am. Let's switch back to our favorite spells. Oh, I'm already on them. Yay. Yeah, you were on Fire Blast. Right. You have one hit point. That's not what I was aiming at, dang it. That's what I was aiming at. So we're going to clear the outside first. The outside area is harder than it looks. And that's because we've only seen two, you know, we've only seen two of the enemy types here. The third one is special.
Also, I just realized that I have haste up. That explains a few things. Power of power! I have also haven't sold anything, so my inventory is still super full. I should go do that now, shouldn't I? Yes, I'm going to go do that now. So let's go have an enchantathon, shall we? Might as well TP first. of mouse look mode so my mouse cursor is actually remembering where it's at that's the reason why sometimes I go in and out of mouse look mode it's specifically so I can move the mouse cursor around all right what did I get garbage 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 yes please uh Okay. Let's do this over by the weapon shop because apparently I have crap tons of weapons right now. Just make some space. As long as I don't leave the zone, they'll stay where they're at. It's barely I should have actually sold that. Let's. Okay. Um. What did this end up? Might 11? Yeah. Yes, cat. I know you're hungry. Oops. Okay, sell some more things. Sell all that. Yeah, I'll sell the boat also. Oops. And let's enchant some more things. Yeah, you're going to enchant that. Oh god, there's more of them. Okay. That cell, that cell, that cell. Just put in there. Cell, cell. That's a keep. You have things to sell. Yes, you can enchant things that aren't identified, as it'll just let you know. If, basically, it's a really weird way of doing ID item if you really wanted to. I still don't actually have a staff skill. That's fine. I might pick up a staff skill if I can find a relic staff. There's one in particular that's actually really good, if I remember correctly. More enchantment. <sighs> oh, that actually was all of them. Right. None of these interest me. Store that for now. Sell, 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 sell. Drop, drop. And regen mana. So where am I getting my regen mana from on these 
two characters. You're getting it from gauntlets, and you're getting it from gauntlets. So I can replace this with that, and then I can finally get rid of those gauntlets. That sounds like a good idea. Because I keep finding good gauntlets. Actually, I think I have, yeah, I have good gauntlets on me. There. Finally get rid of those old gauntlets. And finally, fly back over here. Sell the last things that I have. I still need to decide on the dagger, don't I? <sighs> no. It's good, but it doesn't do enough damage is the problem. The rest of my weapons do a lot better in the way of damage. Uh, town portal, free haven, gongs. I've got like one or two in my inventory, I think. Wrong one, it's over here. One. Okay. Portal back to New Sober Picky, as I used to call it. Also, while I'm thinking about it, Town Portal missed and see if I can buy Fireball already. I keep forgetting about it. I'm going to remember this time. Oops, that was actually not the button I wanted to hit. That one was. Firebolt, firebolt, firebolt. Boo. She keeps trying to chew on cardboard. What is wrong with my cats? Ring of fire, protection of fire, haste, fire, fireball. Fireball! I think I have the rest except for maybe ring of fire, but I will double check. I'm missing ring of fire and firebolt. Yeah which they had both. Ring of Fire, Firebolt. Because he's got just as much fire skill as she does at this point. There's no reason for him to have anything less. Um, speaking of, is there any other type of spell I'm missing that's low level? Beyond Earth Magic. I'm missing lots of air. Okay. Uh, what am I missing in air? Wizard Eye. Oh, I'm tired. Um, that is Wizard Eye, Spark Thingy, Static Charge, whatever that one was, an implosion? Shield Feather Fall. Good enough. I mean, none of those are yes. essentials in my mind. Wizard Eye is nice, but eh. Water, I've got everything. Okay. Now let's go back to Creek Spire again. I think we can even cover half of the place. Hmm, I could go shopping in Kriegspire. Yep. Indecisive man, go! Because I don't think I recently looted Kriegspire. I may have. Yeah, I did. In this case, I'm actually looking to buy stuff for myself. From unusual enchantments. Because I now have... A slot open that I'm apparently not going to use because these items suck. Ugh. Yep. Tight wad. All garbage. Apparently the base area over here is snow, which kind of makes sense. That's right, it's three dungeons. These are the third type of enemy, by the way. They're drakes. 
Remember what I said there are three types of dra or four types of dragons in the game? Drakes are the weaker of the dragons. You can tell they only have 162 hit points. They do have physical dra damage resistance though. They don't have great spells. Oh, that's right. This isn't a dungeon. This is the shrine. Um, they don't exactly have great spells on them or anything. Come on. Attack already. Thank you. They don't exactly have... They're not very powerful. They don't have good items or anything, but they're worth a decent amount of money. The higher level ones might actually have good loot, I want to say. Anyway... Just covering the blank spot because I will be clearing Creek Spire. I do need to go back at some point and actually clear out uh, Blackshire, but I haven't. Okay. Make sure I get north. So the building behind me, the one over here, is Aggar's lab. Those are the Drakes. So remember when that well said watch out? What it's actually doing is it's spawning energy drakes there. And it spawns them after a while, so it actually throws you off by not quite appearing immediately. It's really interesting the way it's handled. There's a lot of enemies over there. There's actually good loot there too. Anyway, we're going to Aguirre's lab, which is right here. How long do I... I should just recast it now. This is a very crowded dungeon, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's a very big one. I... This is... Again, this is completely optional. Nothing in it to speak of. Uh, one moment. Sorry, creature's going to bed. I try to make sure that I can wish them a good night. Yep, there's nothing in the opening spot. These are the types of crews. Remember these from, um, that was Castle Alamos? Now we're actually fighting them in the correct location of the game, and they're still not difficult. I mean, the, the green ones are the mid-tier one, if I remember right. But there's other things in here that are way nastier. And they're way scarier. And it's going to give us a nice intro to the hell that we're going to be dealing with soon enough. Do all of these have loot? Looks like it. Knights. They're behind this wall. I want to say I can jump over if I wanted to. Let's find out. Air. Jump. Oh, this was a trap. So I'm going to reload. That way you don't see the unspeakable horror that's going to be coming yet. Yep, because this isn't a trap at all. More trap. You can see them. You know what they are? Beholders. Beholders are the most obnoxious enemy in the game. Because they can dispel magic on you, they can put you to sleep. This 
This is why this awaken spell exists. Oh, hey, look, they dispelled magic and missed the entire party, but it doesn't matter. They dispelled all effects that are on each individual party member, or on um, the entire party. So all of the day protection stuff are gone. Now they're afraid. And now they've dispelled magic on those two. This is what I mean. This is why I really dislike Beholders. It is totally possible to fight these out of range. And it's probably better, actually, because it looks like they have a lot of physical damage resistance. Which I was not expecting. I don't think I've ever tried fighting them very often at melee range. Well. All of this, and I'm... Uh, just die already, please. Thank you. Mending eyes are the higher level ones. You give me an idea, these almost have as much hit points as lower level dragons. Um, let's try this a different way, shall we? Okay. So. We know that's going to trigger there. But I can hit from up here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take every advantage I have. Oh, that's right. That's the reason why I was doing less damage, because I don't have heroism up. That's two of them. I know there's definitely more than two. Yes, Boo Kitty, I know. Ah. <sighs> I know you're hungry, kitty, but I'm going to finish my video first, okay? <sighs> I'm in the switch, aren't I? <laughs> Trying to see if I can see that. Well, I at least killed two of them. That's better than nothing. Right, let's switch over to Fire Blast. And see if this does any better. Not really. This is where you can really get stun locked at because you can get knocked unconscious, make you miss your turn, woken up, knocked unconscious, or not to sleep, I should say, make yourself miss a turn, woken up, knocked on asleep, rinse, repeat. This is the only point of the game where you can get stun locked regardless of how well you're doing on, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, recovery time. It's why I hate Mending Eyes so damn much. I hit Enter, dang it. Okay. I'm going to recast Hour of Power. God damn it! I hate Eyes so damn much. Okay, Maddening Eye is gone. Terrible Eyes aren't anywhere near as nasty. They're also immune to fire, aren't they? Yep. Um, let's see. I've got Poison Spray? They're not immune to Poison Spray. Uh, what do you have? I don't think they count as undead. Nope. Implosion's usually my spell of choice against eyes. Also, they rarely drop items just to piss you off. And awaken. One person insane, two people frightened. Going great, let me tell you.
and no chandelier in here. Oh yeah, that's right. Day projection. Hour of power. Day of the gods, because I forgot about that. Um, mind, remove fear, her. Mind, your insanity, him. Body, your weakness, him. Oh, it's frightened first. <sighs> Remove fear, him. I, this is a lot for how little I'm actually doing. You gonna fly up near the roof? Technically, they can dispel me through the ceiling, by the way. I think s dispel magic is the weird exception to the you need line of sight for a ranged attack because it actually hits everything within sight, which is the most obnoxious thing. All right, come on up, you beasties. Only one maddening eye. That's dealable. Terrible eye, you're strong against fire. But weak against poison. They can also drop nice rings. The only advantage to the eyes is that they actually drop nice rings. All right, Smatic Light. Yeah, you're immune to magic, of course you are. Uh, piece of garbage. I guess I didn't get dispelled this time. I think it's just the Maddening Eye. Oh, I forgot I couldn't cast that spell. Um, I think it's just the Maddening Eyes that cause dispel magic. Second ring. Yeah, it's enchant bait. Also, fresh light. So I keep forgetting about it. I'm in green. I'm in yellow again. Because that's not a very obvious trap. Start removing everybody's fear. we doing on um, we are fine on durations although to be quite honest I don't think we even need to care about durations save me this is nowhere near that big of a deal death. Currently I'm stuck down here. Well, other than the fact that I can teleport. Well, that's obviously a trap somewhere else. Uh, you're just a portrait. Okay. And are you... Yeah, you're also Aguiar is fun. Honestly, Aguiar is fun. Not concerned with. Not going down there yet. I'm gonna go over here. Aguirre is fun. Ok. 
can I see the eyes? I'm just barely able to hit it right now. That's going to take me a moment or three, but it's Mending Eye. It's totally worth wasting the time. There we go. There's one. Oh, I see another one. So the reason why I can hit the Mending Eyes this way is that they're actually slightly too large for the area. Let's double speed this. I'm not in any danger. I'm not too concerned. There we go. Alright. And there's three more maddening eyes, you pieces of garbage. Okay. And this is time of finding rings. Ooh, nice rings. Those are extremely nice rings. That is kind of one of the things I was looking for. You know what? You don't really need might. You need better dark magic. Dang, those are some nice rings. Okay. So the reason why I come in here, it's mostly just for the rings and XP. Um, yeah, you should probably cure your own insanity. Um, not fear. Weakness. Um, also, how about you set down a Lloyd's Beacon? You TPS to New Serpo Piggy. Run up here, heal. I'm gonna move those over to the cleric. I can sell these later. Nothing's broken, right? Yeah. Beacon, Recall, Aggar's Lab. Don't need to go at double speed. I don't trust this at all. I have no idea what my housemate's currently playing. It's making noise at least. Yeah, that's why I don't trust it. I'm trying to hit the flying eye behind it. Although, I guess, uh, I don't have, uh, there's actually a really good spell for this situation. I don't have it. It's obnoxious. Also, you notice that they fly just to make things more obnoxious because beholders are the most obnoxious enemy type in this game. Luckily, Awaken is a really cheap spell. It rewards you for using light magic as you should, because light magic is awesome. Alright. There's a trap in here. The spell I'm missing is the one that's being cast like that. That one. It's Ice Blast. God damn it. why nobody likes you mending eyes. You just constantly dispel us. I'm in green now. Personality plus 20. Uh, yeah, you definitely have something worse than that. Well, 
while I'm at it. Poison resist. Okay, so single resistance. Does anybody have a single? Yeah, you do. 11. 11. Uh, speed bonus. Which I should probably not even bother equipping anymore now that I think about it. You've got speed 17 and 22. And you actually have a lower resistance thing anyway. That's not that one, that's that one. No, you actually don't. Never mind. But I'm going to get rid of your speed and give you more speed, I guess, because I don't have anything better right now. And luck 19. Do you have anything left of plus luck? No. You do have fire resistance 9? No. Fire resistance 11. Meh. The same. Okay. And I don't think we had anything might higher than that. No, we didn't. Okay. Two more rings. Spirit magic. That's. And really nice resistances. Okay. Okay. Also, fighter trap disarm. There's nothing in there. Surprise, surprise. Let's recast all of our party spells again. Oy. So obnoxious. And hour of power. Okay. Oh, and torchlight before Creator gets all um, picky on me. What's the third type of enemy in here? I don't remember now. Is there a third type of enemy? Yeah, there is. It's Agar. We're gonna pretend I didn't walk over on that side yet. It's the exit. I have to walk on that side. Um, oh yeah, you should probably not be insane anymore. Oops. Dang it. Your weakness yourself. Save and time for utter hell. Inferno! I mean, Agar himself is probably the easiest one of those because I have destroy undead and I have really good light magic. Um, more Inferno! I am doing nothing. Screw it. Agar. Destroy and dead. 115 points of damage. Just imagine if I had something of light magic right now. It'd be great. Um... Ice Dolt. Attack, 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 attack. Destroy undead. Die. No loot. Because why would something have loot? That would be silly. Okay, let's get rid of the damn maddening eyes while I can. How little damage I'm doing now. Uh, this thing must be in my way. Uh, sparks it does damage. Good enough. Okay, got that thing out of the way. Now it's their turn. Oh, I switched to Sparks, right. I'm gonna recast Day of Protection just so I can see what the hell I'm doing. And I really need the resistances. 
Uh, switch back to Fire Blast. And I can't even hit them. Oh, hi. I'm gonna get you out of my way. And then run, basically. So I can go recast things. You know they'll just get dispelled again, I'm aware. And yes, I'm aware I'm talking to myself, I always do that. Power of power. Uh, this is the one dungeon where maybe I should have actually brought a, a master healer with me. I think expert healer actually would have been enough, but two of them specifically. Um, look at how low her MP already is. Hi. You know what? That's a scary image. Ah, ye oldie dispel magic. Yeah, maddening eyes are immune to electricity is what it is. Terrible eyes aren't anywhere near as annoying. It's still annoying, don't get me wrong. Alright. You're going to recast Day of the Gods. You're going to recast Day of Protection again. And then run back. Wait until some decide to be brave and come down here. They're not going to be brave, are they? Those are the fire ones. That's... Not ones I can really do damage to, but you know what? Screw it. Melee attacks. That's what they're there for, right? Yes. You can hit them, though. Actually, I have a power here. I should be okay. So the other two can't see me right now, so they can't dispel me, in theory. Can't I hit broadside of barn? There we go. That's better. I am so low on magic points. They didn't even zero out anybody, too. That's the sad part. Uh, the lich good. The rest can't. I'm being tired. I'm sleepy. Just wanted to complete one smaller dungeon. This is a smaller dungeon, but ugh, these enemies. All right, these two goobers are the only ones left. Got it. That's the last one of those. Cauldron. Kills you. Wonder if it actually does something. Let's check, take a look. My luck is zero. Right, my luck has been zero. 167, 39, 44, 70. I don't think it actually did anything. Yeah. Let's see, resistances. Nope. I think it just kills you. Kills you dead. Found a ring. That's nice. Right. How is that a cauldron? Silly game. Your weakness scroll. All right. All right.
Alright, so we have found my new weapon for a while. This is what I was referring to by Of Darkness. This is the best weapon enchantment in the game to me. Um, at least for use as a weapon. There is one other enchantment that's better, that's of power. But you are going to be equipping that for a long time, most likely. That's enchant bait. That's enchant bait. That's sell bait. Sell bait. Money, money. I know that's going to... Oof. Yeah, it drops your hit points by a lot. But mm, it's still worth it. That's... Damn! It appears I left the memory crystal in Kriegspire when we fled with my Minotaurs. Never cross a bill with anything. Should have known better. Should have known the emotional instability of humans and the bad temper of bulls would have resulted in a complete disaster. I'll have to make a trip back to the castle to get the crystal, but first I'll need some creatures to help me pass the Minotaurs. Maybe if I were to create some sort of flying magical eye. So in this universe, Agyar is the creator of the Beholder. Oh, money, 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 money. Unenchanted Spree Max. Although I'm not ever going to... That might actually be better than what I have. Um, I'm never going to find a better axe in the game at this point. And I am done. This place is done. D-U-N done. I know, boo. Wait for the trap. Thank you. Um, while I'm here, let's go ahead and enchant things. Hi, Boo. Right. Everything's self bait. Um, Kronos is not. I'll be keeping Kronos for a while. And we are out of the lab. It's probably a good time to stop. Let's go back to New Serpical. Um, it is too late for me to sell much of anything, isn't it? Yep. Of course it is. It's the way it works for me. And you're not selling for cost, right? Yeah, you're selling at half cost. I must have messed that up earlier. It's the only explanation. So I will go ahead and heal up. And we shall stop at going back to Creekspire, actually. We're going to be going to Creekspire a lot, for reference. So. We'll just stop staring like this. Hope you've enjoyed, Internet. And I will talk to you next time. Oops. Helps if I actually hit stop recording and not just exit.